I started out in private industry uh, in banking as a vice president which, uh, of a major bank and uh, later got the uh, desire to work in the public sector and have just found service is a noble profession, you know, and I guess that I'm sort of built to serve. Well, as you can see, the lot is a dump. <laughs> The dot was used as a dot. So we're now getting back to what history has taught us, that land can be used and reused to help generate a quality experience for the residents that reside. This is four acres of opportunity. You're going to see the, the land sort of cleared, and you're going to see what we call a, a above-ground greenhouse develop so that we can begin to grow products that is not impacted by the change in the weather. We're estimating to produce maybe about a million pounds of, of fresh produce uh, annually. And of that, we're looking at somewhere between two to five percent of that being set aside that we can make available uh, to our community. There are not many options available for a lot of our residents in some of our challenged communities to buy and acquire healthy products. It would normally take maybe about two or three hours because you gotta get everybody ready to get on the bus. You gotta get transportation for the bus. You don't I mean you don't have a car, so it's kind of hard when you don't have a car and you have a lot of children. We got little ones, we got older ones. So I'd say about three, maybe three or four hours sometimes because you get to the grocery store, there's a million people there because that's the only one. We're looking at uh, Bright Farms as being a movement toward a solution to a bigger problem, and that is how do we then better manage our food supply so that we can increase the quality and the accessibility of healthy foods in our communities. This is a, another way in which uh, I can use my talents and skills to uh, bring about impacts that benefit uh, the community.